welcome back to the National Auto Sport Association National Championships. The NASA National Championships are presented by Toyo Tires. We're here at Miller Motorsports Park in Tuella, Utah. And the weather is part of the story today. The conditions were in the high 80s for uh, ambient temperature. Wind gusts have been as high as 30 plus miles an hour during the day. And the crazy thing is that it's been uh, maybe 8% humidity. That means it's like dry. I mean, dry, dry. Dry enough to toast the bread on your sandwich before you get a chance to finish eating it. And that's not a joke. That actually happened to me <laughs> at during the lunch break. I'm Bill Wood, a race fan, Tech House and Speed Radio, and I'm with John Lindsay, Chief Divisional Director of NASA. And we're going to have a little help again from Dean Case, Mazda Speed, and we're, uh, he's here to talk about some of the Mazdas that are competing uh, as a part of the Robert Davis Racing Organization. We're about ready to have the Group J competition for the national championship. Most of it's per, uh, performance tuning, and we have uh, a number of classes here represented. John, give me some background. Well, this is a performance uh, touring series where it, uh, we have B through F, actually, here. Performance touring is an interesting class. It starts off, uh, every car has a base class where it starts, and we have uh, over 700 car models that we've uh, classified. And then as you add more modifications, those are worth certain point values. And as you hit uh, 20 points, you get moved up another alphabet letter. So. The lower letters in the alphabet, A, B, C, are the faster cars, and the uh, D, E, and F are a little slower, but it's a really neat class because you can throw different combinations and different uh, parts, and it seems to work pretty darn well at uh, still coming out with equal performance. So Dean Case of Mazda Speed, this is an important class for Mazda because it's a chance for you to compete with other cars like yourself and that you're competing with in the marketplace. And you get a chance to compete against them on the track. Is that the... Oh, absolutely. Story? And as John alluded to, I think the teams, probably Robert Davis Racing has a fleet of RX-8s out here. They like the fact that they can dabble around in various R&D projects with the cars, be it powertrain um, or chassis, and move up and down a class. And previously, everyone um, had to race against one another. And they thought, well, why beat up on each other when we can go beat up on more competition if we spread ourselves amongst more classes? So there's a huge attraction to that. And I think for anybody, you can kind of come in at the level that you uh, you bought the car at. And depending on your budget, you can move up at your uh, leisure without having to buy or build a new car to a new set of rules. So there's a lot of flexibility in the system. As you can see, the cars going through the screen right now, you're going to have a whole host of cars and classes here competing. The pace car is leading the cars through the track right now. That's going into Tuella Turn. Uh, that's uh, uh, not a sharp, maybe a 90 left. That's turn 11. We're on the three-mile outer course at Miller Motorsports Park. 15 turns, a little over three miles, 3.048 to be exact. And they're going now. There's a little kink that they're going through right now. You can see the little bend. Most even the faster cars don't lift, and certainly the slower ones that are in the back of this field, they're not going to lift going through there. But they will have to lift and do some serious braking going here into clubhouse turn and this starts maybe the most crucial part of the track turn 13 clubhouse corner turn 14 that's what they're headed to now that's called the wind up and they're about to go through 15 that's called release we're going to see the uh, the, the pace car leave right now release is important because the cars have to get out of this turn as well as possible with as much momentum as possible in order to get down this long straight and take advantage of that 3,000 foot straight you can see down there to turn one that's called Sunset Bend. The green flag is in the starters hand and there they go. The race is on. So a couple of familiar faces there from our uh, Honda Challenge race. There's Brian Shanfeld. He's also running the car in uh, PTB. Looks like he got a really, really nice start. 
with uh, Ricky Boo Boo Johnson right behind him in his Mini. A guy named Boo Boo driving a Mini. Uh, no, I think he was driving a Porsche earlier. This is crew chief Yogi. Is <laughs> smarter than the average racer. <laughs> I forgot, John. We uh, whenever you have John, you've got a whole crowd with you. Now these are the Mazdas. This is the whole Mazda crowd here uh, with. Uh, Various ages of RX-7s, and uh, maybe there might be a, there's no R. Is there? Is that an RX-8 in there? Uh, I didn't see one in that pack. There was a whole bunch of the uh, Miatas. So some of those had run yesterday in the Spec Miata race. That's Performance Touring E, and the uh, Spec Miatas all fit really nicely in there. And you saw David Vaden giving a nice little bump on the start there to uh, help out. Now the important part about Spec Miata is that it's they're they're more than showroom stock, but the car is. As stock as you can get, maybe a hundred and what ten mile uh, horsepower. About, I'm not sure the exact number on that. It depends on whose dyno you believe. But the the most important thing is that this is where you can learn how to race because all the cars are basically the same, and it takes a lot of momentum uh, to maintain what's going on with the uh, what's going on in the racetrack. And if you can maintain your momentum and if you make a slow car go fast, generally you can handle a faster car because you know how to race. Well, we've seen uh, great evidence of that where the drivers moving up from spec me on to the pro ranks do very, very well. And that's the big thing about uh, Mazda's ladder system. In fact, with the spec Miata yesterday, they, uh, the winner, anyone who wins a national championship in the uh, SCCA or in the NASA wins a national championship in a Miata class for a Mazda class will get invited with some other criteria to come participate in kind of a gong show uh, where you can maybe move up to uh, be sponsored ultimately after some uh, you pass through some criteria and uh, be sponsored by Mazda in an MX-5 ride. Yeah, that's right. You can Somebody potentially out here today who's racing and is going to win a race could end up in a full uh, Mazda-sponsored ride in the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup next year. We've done it the last uh, four years in a row, and three of those champions have come from Spec Miata series. And, uh, yeah, two from Spec Miata, one from Formula Enterprise, and one from the Skip Barber Mazda Speed Challenge, which is their uh, school series for the MX-5 cars. So we have here in the Performance Touring B category, those are the fastest cars in this class, uh, Brian Shanfield, Ricky Johnson, James Holloway, and Team Life's Good Racing. That is... Well, today Carl Chick is behind the wheel, I believe. Dave Carl, Brown, uh, Chicka, and uh, Dave Brown was driving yesterday in the uh, CMC2 race. So, uh, D Brian Shanfield, Ricky Boo Boo Johnson. I'm going to have to work hard to keep that out of my head. Uh, I'm sure the guy is a, he's a phenomenal driver. He's second in the... Uh, in the category right now, second on the on the track, uh, but it's crazy. And that's the the car, the Team Life's Good Racing that we're seeing all over the the uh, the rumble strips on the side. Uh, and there's somebody that's gone all the way off the track. That's Donna Giulio. Is that? Yep, Whoa. that's Donna. Looks like she spun out and she got out of the way just in time just before in it gets clobbered. You would think that somebody, a corner worker, would have helped her make that decision. That was dangerous. I'm looking here at the uh, brotherly battle between Jim and Dennis Holloway. They're running different classes out of the same um, Robert Davis racing team. Jim is running third in PTB, while his brother Dennis is first in PTC. One of the things, they used to, it wasn't real good to have the brothers beating up on each other. Now they can uh, take their uh, races to separate classes. A little more harmony within the family, I think, there. So that's James Holloway in the 07. That's the car right there in front of your camera. And is that uh, his brother Dennis right there? No, I think Dennis is farther back. It's a similar paint scheme car. If you notice, all the Robert Davis racing cars, uh, the paint scheme is a tribute to the 1991 Le Mans winning Mazda, which is why Robert runs the car 55. That was the car number that the Mazda won the 24 hours of Le Mans in 1991. Now, see, you learn something every day right here at the NASA National Championships presented by Toyo Tire. That was Dean Case, part of the Mazda Speed 
program and he's telling us something I didn't know before. How come you didn't tell me that before? Uh, I don't know. You didn't ask. Well, that's one I reason. figured you knew, Bill. That's <laughs> You're a wealth of knowledge, Bill. I'm a wealth of something. I don't know if it's knowledge. Not all the time. But uh, the 07 is James Holloway. He just got passed by uh, Chica in the 33X Camaro. Team Life's Good Racing moved him back down to fourth. Brian Shanfield and Ricky Johnson are still at the front of the line. They're not, they've done a lot of separation, but there's maybe two or three seconds between Shanfield and Johnson. Yeah, Ricky Boo Boo Johnson, he's uh, trying to catch up to that Acura. There's Dennis, or that's James Holloway. Looks like Shanfield has about a seven second lead over uh, Ricky Johnson there. Do we want to talk about the, the Holloways or who else they represent? Well, the Holloways' other name is the Mothers Brothers. Uh, they're with Mothers Polishes. They're uh, uh, key individuals within that organization, which is also why it's called Robert Davis Racing, but the big rig says Mothers on it. You can't miss it. Absolutely a stunning rig. And uh, I guess the mixed blessing of when you uh, have people from a, uh, a polish company is your cars better look good. You, no excuse for having a uh, clapped out car and the cars all the RX-8s are just stunning to look at I'm biased of course about how good looking the Mazda is but uh, just the fit and finish on the paint is uh, superb John that's also one of the things though that NASA kind of requires isn't it so you don't have lumps that show up at the start line don't, don't they require the cars to have some we do we about it we have something called a 50-50 rule, which means the car can have no noticeable body damage from 50 feet away at 50 miles an hour. Especially at an event like this where we want everybody to really have their cars looking good, we have uh, actually said to a few folks, you got to fix that because it just looks way too ugly. Is that uh, about like the 40-40 rule in Vegas? That the, uh, all the, the women on the stage have to look good from about 40 feet? <laughs> <laughs> is that the uh, is that the same thing? I'm going to uh, take the Fifth Amendment right on that one. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm the only one that has heard that in this ent in the entire room. Well, yeah, we. Uh, That's back the only one. That'll, I'm the only one that'll admit to it. Right, there you go. And, and last year, I actually in my uh, my 944 spec group where I was a race director, I did have someone. Uh, you know, they went to uh, I think it was either Walmart or somewhere like that, and they uh, bought some rattle cans and repainted the whole car because well, it, really? show, it showed up looking like the Partridge family van with different colored body panels all over the place. And wow. I think well, they got a, a bucket of Bondo, too, and fixed it right up. I think the difference between Vegas, though, is I don't think we want the NASA officials to have beer goggles on when they're making the judgment <laughs> calls. No. <laughs> we're, we're at the NASA. To bring some civility back here to people that want to know what's going on. We're at the NASA National Championships presented by Toyo Tires. We're at Miller Motorsports Park in Tooele, Utah where the uh, conditions have really played an impact on the racing here. And the first race today, the, uh, the very dry weather and winds and altitude combined to play havoc with several cars. We think that's why there were three or four that uh, literally uh, their engines gave up and uh, that had an impact on the entire race. The race was supposed to be 40 minutes, but with the... Uh, all the, the debris that was on the track, around the track, I think it was cut short, uh, and that's had an impact on the rest of the race. We have wind gusts over 30 miles an hour. Some of it has blown some uh, dust and debris onto the track, especially in an area called uh, Witchcraft. That's turn seven, going up to the attitudes where the, uh, that's basically the S's here at Miller Motorsports Park, and the one place where you do have uh, serious elevation change so all of that combined to really play havoc this morning on some of the races that we have now we're in the third race of the day this is the performance touring performance tuning uh, classes there's three or four classes here all under performance tuning and we've got Dean Case with us part of the Mazda Speed program and he's uh, been able to give us some background on the Robert Davis Racing. Robert Davis is a senior VP of Mazda North America, and he has uh, these RX-8s that are in the field. Uh, those are largely his, and uh, 
they are among the, the faster cars out there. He's got maybe six of them. Is it six? Oh, I think we actually just have five this weekend uh. with Robert. I mean, it, the thing to know about Robert and his team, this is these are not Mazda-owned cars. Uh, Robert and his teammates own those cars. This is on his time and money that he does this. There's a spin by number 198. That's Sarah Cataneo. She was fourth in performance touring, touring B and uh, obviously lost ground there with that spin. She is going to be back in the field. That may allow the Holloways to move up. Dennis, in fact, uh, has moved ahead of his brother, James Holloway. Uh, James is in the B category and Dennis is in the C category. That should make for some interesting conversation when they get back to the pits. So I'm sure it is, but as I was saying, Robert, um, he, his responsibilities within Mazda are product development and quality. The joke is anytime something breaks on his car to track, uh, an engineer gets an assignment on Monday because Mazda uses motorsports to improve the product. And there have been, since these are production cars, this is not a tube frame car, that is a production RX-8 you know, with safety equipment added in for racing, some performance enhancements, but it is truly a production car with, you know, the proper VIN and proper part numbers you order from a Mazda dealership. And so we've made, we found things that have broken in racing that we've changed on everybody's production car for uh, improvement in quality, durability, and reliability for everybody. You're looking at Brian Shanfeld, who is the leader on the track, uh, well ahead of Ricky Johnson in the Mini, and that that area they're going through is, where is that, John? That's uh, turn six? Yeah, it looks like they're on the back side of the course now, uh, heading right through the uh, turns there where we uh, come up to the knockout right there. Uh, they are speaking right through there, and Shanfield looks to be extending his lead a little bit. They're using the outer course here at Miller. Uh, right about there is where they would go into the inner, the inner part of the course. They, if you've ever seen the Grand Am or the ALMS here, they uh, all the in, inner part of the course here. They're lo losing several miles of track here inside the track. They're just using the outer circle, and uh, it makes for it's still a good track. A lot of horsepower. But there's a lot of tricky parts, and there's a, this is largely a momentum track. Even with this long 3,000-foot runway, if you mess up any turns, you could lose a lot of time. We saw in the 944 spec race yesterday where the leader screwed up a turn, and suddenly the guy who was following him was right on his tail, stuck a nose in, and uh, almost won the race until going a little too fast and spun uh, with two turns to go in the 40-minute race. Well, and I'm taking a look at the uh, leaderboard here, and it looks like uh, this this should make the Mazda crew happy that the only uh, class that doesn't have a Mazda leading right now is PTD. So that's a pretty good sweep right there. I'm just looking at PTE. Tyler Vance is leading. Uh, Tyler ran very strong in Spec Miata yesterday until kind of uh, uh, falling off towards the end. Tyler is, I now believe, 15 years old. He's been, this will be his second or third NASA championships, I believe. Uh, one of the unique things about NASA is if you've proven yourself capable, uh, you can race here without a proper on-the-street driver's license. So he, Tyler Vance, is leader in PTE, is about uh, a minute, a second and a half in front of Randy Evans in PTE. So this should be an interesting uh, run to the finish as they try to uh, hold each other off. Again, especially in the, in the Miatas, that is a very uh, pretty equal car, so uh, the momentum is strictly important. We're about 11 minutes into the third race of the day, the performance tuning race, uh, several classes of performance tuning cars here in Miller Motorsports Park. We're looking for uh, national championships and the NASA National Championships presented by Toyo Tires. We're going to take a break and come right back to uh, see who is able to uh, come out with some championship activity this afternoon. The 2010 National Autosport Association National Championships is brought to you by Toyo Tires, driven to perform.
quality and value, style, performance. Sure, you want it all, but just don't want to spend it all. No problem. Just go with the brand voted number one overall, Toyo Tires, for seven of the last nine years by people who know best. Independent tire dealers, just like me. So for top quality and top value, take it from the pros, Toyo Tires. Welcome back to Miller Motorsports Park. This is the NASA National Championships presented by Toyo Tires. We're looking at the performance touring category in the uh, National Championships. There's about four classes here uh, for... Well, there's B, C, D, E, and David Golick is the lone cowboy in F. Okay, and tell me again, what happens, again, uh, you, like at some point everybody started at F and you get the more performance changes you make to your car you move up in category until you get to uh, performance touring B and uh, I assume that with some more changes there's an A category and maybe an unlimited category the more changes you make to the car so a lot of these cars are very equal at the beginning but if you add wheels or uh, shocks or a turbocharger or any of several other things that will raise you up in category so that's how they determine the classes in the performance touring division and we also have uh, limits set for power to weight ratios on the classes too so someone can't kind of game the system a little bit and get monster power that would really make a good car uh, so we do set caps there too because we did have some uh, mythical class killers that finally uh, showed up and uh, we had to set a little bit of the ceiling there. Our leader here is in the performance touring B category, Brian Shanfield. He's been leading the from the very drop of the flag uh, over Ricky Johnson who has been chasing him since the drop of the flag. Brian is an engineer at Honda and he's right now he owns about a seven second lead over Johnson. The Team Life's Good Racing is Chica, what's his first name again? That's Carl Chica. Carl Chica, who is in the 33X Camaro. That is third. Fourth is Dennis Holloway. Uh, and uh, Scott Shelton now has moved ahead of James Holloway. Those are both performance touring C cars. Ahead of James Holloway as performance touring B. The two Holloway brothers are part of what we were just talking about with Dean Case, part of the Robert Davis Racing. Robert Davis is a senior VP at Mazda North America. Uh, so what you're looking at is real uh, on-track action, uh, and changes made on this car might end up on the Mazda in your driveway. Right now we're taking a look at uh, Mark Hoover, who is our leader in performance touring D. Uh, again, a Miata, but with a little bit of uh, sauce added to it. Uh, the Miatas generally start off in uh, PTF, uh, and then they get moved up as soon as they get their uh, modifications in there. And he's doing really, really, really well, uh, knocking down lap times. Looks like a best time of 217. So he's out there and moving up into the faster B and C cars as he's out there uh, trying to take home that PTD win. It's amazing how, especially in the slower category car, or in the, the less performance cars, the slower performance cars, I don't know what the proper term is, but in the slower cars, you really find driver skill uh, more important because the, the cars are equal in performance and the NASA has worked hard to make sure that that happens but that when, that's when the driver skill set comes forward and you do find a guy in a slower car is able to stay ahead of a guy in a faster car uh, in the, on the track. And it's been a neat exercise to try and take so many different cars uh, we have our, our director for performance touring and kind of the godfather of the class is uh, Dr. Greg Greenbaum, uh, who is also our medical director. And Greg is uh, an absolute uh, gem of a worker, and he will stay up all hours of the night. And I'm actually not convinced that Greg ever sleeps. Uh, and he will make sure that all of these cars are as equal as he can get them, uh, over 700 different makes and models of cars. 
Mark Hoover is leading the performance touring D category. He's got about a nine second lead over Patrick Smith uh, in the performance touring D. Third is Derek Malcolm. Fourth in the class is Chuck Coos. And Derek is actually driving a uh, Nissan Sentra SER, one of the old B13 chassis, and I was uh, fortunate enough to sell him that car when it was a street car. I rescued it off the uh, mean streets of the uh, San Fernando Valley, and uh, Derek uh, took it the rest of the way and made it into a great little race car. How old is that car? It's a, uh, I think it's about a 91 or 92 uh, Sentra, and they are... I refer to them as the Japanese Mustangs because uh, off the, uh, the lot they uh, had big power uh, but absolutely terrible handling. And you could really take those cars and improve them, but it was a uh, somewhat of a scary proposition when you uh, took them a little too far. They'd bounce around quite a bit, so Derek is uh, really a pilot if he can move that thing around like he is. Tyler Vance is on the screen right now. He's the leader in PTE. He's in the Mazda Miata that we, that's him there. He had an excellent run yesterday until the, the end of the race in the Spec Miata class. That was, uh, that was quite a show. There was a lot of lead changing going on back there, and uh, it was a, a, a good show. That you can see there's even an old uh, RX-3 out there. Uh, Walter Carlos, and I suspect that that's a car that I've known since I was a uh, rookie racer over at uh, Cal Club, that uh, I believe that's a car my old friend Pablo Mobius used to drive, uh, but then again, it may be another one, but you don't see a lot of those around anymore. Walter Carlos in the RX-3, those were great cars. Remember when they uh, were in IMSA and they used those with the big flares and everything on the car? Those were phenomenal cars like the old 510 the cars that go back to that that day see now we're showing our age john uh you know they uh you can go back to those days remember when you used to cheer for the cars like that people look at that now like uh, probably our dads looked at the old uh, model t's and so forth yeah it's old school for sure old school you could look in there and see the ground through the engine compartment you can't do that anymore in a race car yeah, and uh, unfortunately, when you have an old race car, sometimes you can look down and see the ground anyway when you're sitting in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the case? Yeah, you'll have a tough time getting through your annual with some of these cars that have, uh, we, I, I guess uh, we call it competition history, but it's really just a beat-up race car sometimes. Looks like we have somebody out already uh, heading into impound. All right, I guess uh, we are hearing from our spotters that that was uh, Jeremy Crozet who was running that S2000, uh, perhaps trying to uh, redeem from the problem he had uh, yesterday in Honda Challenge where he uh, had contact with John Maris and it ended up uh, snapping one of the axles on his little CRX. So right now our class leaders here on the track are Brian Shanfield, who's also Fanfeld, who's also leading the race in PTB, in PTC, Performance Touring C, Dennis Holloway, Performance Touring D, Mark Hoover, Performance Touring E, Tyler Vance, Performance Touring F, David Golick. Those are our class leaders on the track. Brian Shanfeld is about an eighth second lead now on uh, Ricky Johnson. Uh, his nickname is Boo Boo, and maybe he is made of Boo Boo because a couple laps ago he was only six seconds back, and now he's eight seconds back. At 198 is Sarah Cataneo. She spun a little while ago. She was uh, running fourth on the track and spun and uh, had to gather it up, missed everybody, or everybody missed her, and uh, she's been able to fight her way back now to seventh. Overall, fifth in class in performance touring B. She was in that mini that went by the performance touring B class. You really do have a big uh, field of e-cars. I was uh, looking this over, and it looks like we have uh, 13 e-cars. Uh, that's quite a big field. Performance Touring C, we've got Dennis Holloway listed as the leader, and Scott Shelton, number five, uh, is second in Performance Touring C. And uh, though they are running well ahead, are those the only... Th 
was the only or there's another one Manny Coates is way back in the field but they uh, Dennis Holloway and Scott Shelton are running in fact Dennis Holloway is shown running a 215 laps and that is ahead of the Camaro that's running in front of him in third at the uh, performance touring B category so Dennis Holloway is fourth in an RX-8 in performance touring C and he's fourth on the track but he's running faster times than the car in front of him in uh, performance touring B uh, that in the 33X Camaro and like we've been saying for two days here if you are running faster than the car in front of you if there's enough time left you're going to catch it I mean that's makes sense we're about 22 minutes into a 40 minute race and with the uh, what that's 18 minutes left to go at uh, two and a half two over two minutes per lap we're less than 10 laps to go in this race maybe eight laps to go in this race well let's not forget uh, also these uh, fellows who are driving the Mazdas are trying to get some uh, of that generous cash that Mazda is putting forth and also get into that driver shootout opportunity so they are really uh, pushing hard to try and get a win for Mazda and all of the performance touring classes here he's been out once before he was the NASA team champion uh, two years ago and made it to the shootout and didn't quite the, the shootout tests not just driving ability but the total driver package you know can they put together a sponsorship uh, proposal uh, how is their technical feedback data analysis things like that and, you know Tyler did exceptionally well for a 14 year old at the time uh, I think we're all going to be very impressed if he makes it back to the shoot again this year but uh, that is clearly was his goal with his racing this year and why he uh, strategically wanted to make sure he was in two classes so he had double his odds for making it to the shootout. And the, well, that's Dean Case, part of the Mazda Speed program. And the, the shootout is important. Say a little more about the, 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 it's not just driving and the ability to be fast on the track. They have to put together a business plan, don't they? They right. have to really tell people how we plan on doing this besides Mazda giving them some money and letting them go out and spend it. Oh, absolutely. I mean, what we do now, because we've grown it, we've expanded it, is anybody who wins a national championship with Mazda Power, and that's not just, you know, the spec and the autos. That includes Formula Enterprise and it includes uh, the Formula Mazdas and everything else. If you want a uh, Mazda Power Atlantic car in the runoffs, you can get into the championship that way. Oops. Got a spin there? Yeah, we've got somebody off the track here in 14. Trying to look through the dust and dirt and see who it is. They're back on the track now, I would think. Yep, here they come. And it's always a scary moment when uh, someone goes off and makes that big dust cloud because the drivers behind don't know exactly what to do. They are sitting there uh, wondering what's in that dust cloud. Is there a bad surprise? That's the Magnus Racing RX-8 that uh, had that spin there. They were running eighth in class in performance touring D. Some of these are very large classes. Looks uh, like we've uh, got a slow mover. I think that's number 97, Mike Rose. Uh, and that's a, a heartbreak for him because he built an entirely new car after crashing out over the summer with his old car. So looks like Mike Rose is done after a real big effort to get here and uh, try for a win in performance touring E. He's left the track. That's the entrance to Pit Road. Uh, you leave, you, you're, the entry to Pit Road is actually out of uh, 14, so you completely avoid 15 to get on to Pit Road. It's a long entry. Uh, I saw once a few years ago, I saw a Daytona prototype car was on fire uh, from the clubhouse turn, a ball of flame coming out behind it, and by the time they got slow enough on Pit Road, to where the flames could engulf the car, uh, they engulfed the car. The driver came tumbling out of the thing as quickly as possible, and the thing almost burned to the ground. Those smaller cars you see there are Legends cars. Uh, they're not in any of the performance touring categories, uh, but they're out there at the back of the line, and they're doing their own race. Yeah, we have a great relationship with uh, 
600 racing in Inex, and uh, they come out and play with us all the time at the NASA events with the Legends cars. And we uh, also help them uh, from time to time host their national road racing championships, and they are really a great group to have come join us. This is the performance touring category in the NASA National Championships presented by Toyo Tires. We're at Miller Motorsports Park. Our leader is Brian Shanfeld, who is performance touring B. He's an engineer at Honda, and he is well ahead, almost 10 seconds ahead of the second-place car on the track and the second-place car in the performance touring category, performance touring B category. That's Ricky Johnson in a mini. So Brian Shanfeld, Ricky Johnson. And it looks like a couple of guys have switched their lights on to let uh, everybody know they're coming and get out of the way. Uh, kind of the Le Mans approach, I guess. Uh, Brian's got his on, and I'm sure he's uh, flashing the high beams all the way down the straight, saying, get out of my way, because here I come. He has uh, is shown himself to be the, the class of the field. He's really uh, walked away. A 10-second lead in anything is equally divided as these classes are is an enormous advantage uh, and it's more than it's probably more than just the car it's probably just his driving ability he could probably go into any of the, several other of these cars and still be leading this is the battle for third in performance touring e i believe performance touring e that's the battle between Randy Evans and Kyle Jones, uh, both of those Miatas in performance touring E. Leader in the class is Tyler Vance, who we've been talking about. He's turning some serious times. He's faster than anybody around him in several of the cars in the faster category. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is performance touring E, the battle for third between Randy Evans in the number nine and... Uh, no, let's see. And actually, that, that's car maybe one mistaken. is that's, David uh, Vodden. That's David Vodden, and he's the uh, CEO of Thunder Hill Raceway, and he's uh, coming out to join us. So looks like it's actually the battle for third and fourth there that we're talking about between Randy Evans and David Vodden. And David is a hard charger, so I don't think he's uh, going to settle for just uh, achieving that third spot now. Now he's going to put uh, right there Kyle Jones in his sights and start to run him down. A lot of these drivers will join us at the, uh, I know for sure, Brian Shanfeld. I've seen him many times at the 25 Hours of Thunder Hill that we do in December every year. That's a neat race, a uh, 25-hour endurance race. Always a lot of fun and uh, really challenging with the uh, strange uh, weather we can get in Northern California in December. We've had fog, snow, rain, all kinds of fun stuff. It's also just a few weeks before the, 24, the Rolex 24, uh, which allows uh, some guys to get a little uh, experience. Oh, looks like Robert Davis is off. He uh -oh. his uh, quest for the top there, and he's... Uh, well, he, he was going for a repeat championship. Robert won the class last year, so... Uh, oh, what a heartbreak. Yeah, Robert's not going to be happy. He worked very hard on some cars last night. Everyone in the, in the garage area was having a party and barbecuing and passing around beverages and and uh, Robert was over in the corner hammering away on a car and uh, it wasn't his it, it was, was somebody else's car it was the one that uh, Jim Holloway ran earlier today in ST2 and that's a brand new car they built that's turbocharged and you know here again when you've got guys who work at Mazda research and development probably similar to the Honda guys uh, the point of this racing is not just driver skill it's beating the product up to make it better for everybody and um, so they had some challenges with a new car for the ST2 so is the is the 55 that we just saw Robert Davis is that a new car? no no that's the one I believe Robert ran last year uh, he was going for his second championship in PTD yeah, he was he was down the field in PTD he was fifth in class so he's been having trouble with that car uh, most of the race here wasn't No, they've struggled a little bit this week, but and or just you know the nature of the competition. Uh, other people raise their game; you have to match it. So uh, that's why people are, get sucked into racing so easily. Well, uh, old racer once told me that uh, instead of uh, 
he uh, when he was younger, he had asked a veteran racer. He said, "So, uh, gee, you know, what do I need to know about racing?" He said, "Well, just do drugs, kid. It's a lot cheaper, and there's a recovery program for it." Right, of course. <laughs> just, just a little bit of a uh, disclaimer there from, uh, from Bill. So we're here at the NASA National Championships presented by Toyo Tires at Miller Motorsports Park in Tooele, Utah. We're looking at the performance touring category race. We've got about four or five classes. We've got performance touring B, performance touring C, D, E, and F all in this race. And so we'll end up with championships in each one of those categories when this race is over. We're about 20, we're 30, 31, 31 minutes 31. into the race right now. We've got about nine minutes left. That means about four or five more laps at the rate that they are turning. It looks like Brian Schanfeld is continuing to extend his lead almost up to 11 seconds ahead of uh, Ricky Johnson right now. We should also note uh, Scott Shelton took over the lead in PTC. Dennis Holloway dropped back. We were chatting and missed that. Uh, Scott is now leading. That's another one of the Robert Davis Racing Mazda RX-8s. There's Tyler Vance. He's uh, continuing to lead that PTE class to secure his spot at the uh, shootout, or at least uh, have his opportunity there. Again, he's turning laps at 218.6, and the cars and in, in, the car immediately in front of him is uh, about 220. 220. He'd have to he'd have to jump up five spots on the on the on the grid to find somebody who's equal to him. So he's you've got to catch the person and in order to race with them, but. He, Let's just say he's faster than everybody around him. We're looking at the lap times here, it looks like Kyle Jones and David Vaughn are starting to uh, dip into the 18s there in their quest to uh, run Tyler. And he's his last lap time was a 2.19.7.15. So maybe that one second a lap, he may have gotten held up or something else. But David Vaughn and uh, Randy Evans are really trying to chase, or Kyle Jones are really trying to chase Tyler down. And the... So those are the top three in PTE. And uh, we've uh, heard from our spotters that Jones is starting to catch up to Tyler Vance. White flag. White flag lap. White flag lap. So yeah, he's when only got one lap left to get her done. Yeah, you see, when you're running a second a lap faster, you're going to catch the guy. It's just a matter of catching him and passing him is two different things. If you can catch him, then you have to get around him here at the, this three-mile course. Our leader is Brian Shanfeld over Ricky Johnson, and the Team Life's Good Racing is Carlos Checa, Sarah Cataneo. She's moved her way back up to fourth. Performance Touring B, fifth in Performance Touring B, is James Holloway. Scott Shelton is leading Performance Touring C. Mark Hoover is leading Performance Touring D. And Performance Touring, touring E is Tyler Vance, the young 15-year-old in uh, Mazda Miata, who is trying to hold off the second in class, Kyle Jones, who is closing on him, running faster times as much as a second faster, and is able to uh, uh, see Tyler stepped it up a bit, and uh, he will probably hold off uh, Kyle Jones. We're still on the final lap, white flag. We're watching our race leader, Brian Shanfeld, an engineer at Honda, who has uh, led this race from the beginning. And it looks like the Sentra. Yeah, Derek Malcolm is uh, slow right there through wind up and release. Maybe he's going to try to get it uh, come around. Coast all the way through, huh? And you never know, never know. It looks like he has no power, though. He has uh, lost his drive. He might uh, need some Flintstone help to get to this. Back to the finish, if that's the case. On the screen now, though, is our race leader and class leader in performance touring B, that's Brian Shadfield. You can see that we were just talking about the center there parked on the side. This is the last turn, release, turn 15, 
and you can see the start finish line up ahead and the checkered flag that's waving for Brian Shanfield. Way to go. Nice drive. There's Ricky Johnson taking the second spot there in PTB. Scott Shelton is leading in performance touring C. Performance touring D, the leader, is Mark Hoover. Performance touring E remains Tyler Vance. And performance touring F is David Golick. Well, by my count, that's uh, four out of five uh, Mazda winners there. I, I think that'll do. Although five out of five would have been nice. Well, we would like to have beaten the Honda. But yeah, what, what happened to, come on, what happened to the, the fifth? <laughs> As always next year. Well, it's always you know, next year. we like to point out Mazda on the street, we're a 2% market share company. We're very small. On the racetrack, we're much, much larger. We typically outnumber Toyota, Honda, and Nissan combined at the racetrack. That word is brought to you by Dean Case. <laughs> yes, I am biased. I fully admit the bias. <laughs> well, and at uh, NASA, we did do a census of what our most popular makes were, not just for the racing, but also for time trial and the driver's education, everything we do, and Mazda has been our number one brand for quite a long time. That was Jay John Lindsay. I'm Bill Wood, Dean Case of Mazda Speed. We are at the NASA National Championships presented by Toyo Tires. We've been saying all along that these cars are going to go into the, uh, the impound when they get finished here to make sure that everything is legal and everything is up to the rule book. And uh, so we'll, they'll have a ceremony honoring the, the uh, champions, but we may not find out until a couple hours later that uh, somebody was illegal and uh, won't be able to uh, continue. Now, Bill, here's an interesting story. Scott Shelton, after he crossed the line and took his win, he's now stalled out just probably about a quarter of the way down from the uh, start-finish line. So he had everything in that car that he could uh, handle, and then it conked out right after the finish. I Is think the they just they put the exact amount of fuel in. Bare minimum weight, I, uh, that's what I'm going to argue. Is there a rule that says that he has to drive it to impound? Uh, I don't believe so. The, the race is, uh, he crossed the start-finish line, and I think he's good to go. All right, let's take a break and come right back. Again, these cars are headed to impound right now, the winners and the non-winners, uh, but the winners are going to have to prove that they indeed deserve, according to the rules, to be champions. This is the NASA National Championships presented by Toyo Tires. We're at Miller Motorsports Park. Come on back after this break. We are going to have a few more words for you before we go away. The 2010 National Autosport Association National Championships is brought to you by Toyo Tires, driven to perform. Quality and value, style, performance. Sure, you want it all, but just don't want to spend it all. No problem. Just go with the brand voted number one overall, Toyo Tires, for seven of the last nine years by people who know best. Independent tire dealers, just like me. So for top quality and top value, take it from the pros, Toyo Tires. As we mentioned, we're, we're back from the uh, break. NASA National Championships presented by Toyo Tires at Miller Motorsports Park. We just finished the performance touring race uh, where Brian Shanfield, an engineer at Honda, won the race going away from flag to flag. He is the new national champion in performance touring B. Our other national champions, there's a, the uh, performance touring B, the running order. That's Brian Shanfield, Ricky Johnson. Team Life's Good Racing was Carlos Checa, Sarah Contineo. She spun once and came back. That was an excellent drive by Sarah and James Holloway, part of the Robert Davis Racing Stable. Uh, performance Touring C, Scott Shelton, Manny Coates, Dennis Holloway, and Jeremy Crosette, another NASA official, ran in the Honda Challenge race, Honda Challenge race yesterday. This is PTD, Mark Hoover, 
Patrick Smith, Chuck Coos, Lee, Papa George. He, uh, in fact, gave me a beverage last night in the uh, Mazda, got a beverage for me. A nice guy. Uh, and this is the PTE. We've talked a lot about Tyler Vance, the 15-year-old. Kyle Jones made a run at him at the end, but the kid didn't uh, didn't surrender. Got his national championship in NASA. David Viden is the CEO at uh, Thunder Hill Raceway in California. He can take back a little bit to hang on the crowd and say, look, I'm not just the boss. I know a little bit about what's going on here. And there's the others in PTE.